Ayan. So, find the remainder when 5x squared minus 2x plus 1 is divided by x plus 2. So, again, for the solution, we have to use the remainder theorem. So, pag ginamit si remainder theorem, kunin natin ngayon ang dividend. So, 5x squared minus 2x plus 1 by the divisor x plus 2. <clears throat> then, equated to 0, x now will be equal to negative 2. Kasi equate mo by 0. So, ang value ng x natin is negative 2. Therefore, our r is equal to negative 2. Whatever the result, pag sinabsitute mo yung negative 2 dun sa polynomial expression, ang kalalabasan is our remainder. Clear po? Yes. Okay, next. So, p of, substitute na natin, p of negative 2, then we have 5 times negative 2 to the power of 2, that is 4, yung loob, plus 4, kasi negative 2, times negative 2, plus 1. Then, p of negative 2 is now equal to 5 times 4, 20. Then, 4 plus 1 is 5. So, final answer, the remainder is 25. Clear po? Okay. okay. So, by factor theorem, we can say that x plus 2 is not a factor of the given polynomial. Kasi the remainder is 25. Tagdag natin. Therefore, x plus 2 is not a factor of 5x squared minus 2x plus 1. Clear po? Apo, ma'am. Okay. Next. So, let us have another solution. So, by synthetic division, 5x squared minus 2x plus 1. Then, our divisor is x plus 2. By synthetic, equate natin ito by 0. So, our x now will be equal to negative 2. Tama po? Apo. Okay. Synthetic division. This is x plus a form. So therefore, we may use b mama. Bring down, multiply, add, multiply, add, multiply, add, hanggang sa maubos lahat. So get all the numerical coefficient. Make sure na ang given na exponents are all in decreasing order. Power of 2, power of 1, power of 0, perfect. Therefore, we have all the numerical coefficient. Power of 2, 5. Sa power of 1, we have negative 2. Sa power of 0, we have positive 1. Clear po? Apo. Then, our divisor is negative 2. So, ito si divisor, negative 2. Apply the procedure, B, mama, mama. Bring down 5. Times negative 2 is negative 10. Add negative 12. Multiply positive 24. Add 25. Therefore, our remainder is 25. The same lang po ang result, di ba? Ano po mas madali? Synthetic Synthetic. Synthetic. Pero pag ang tinatanong ay remainder lang, pwede mong gamitin si remainder theorem. Okay lang naman din si synthetic. Ang advantage lang ni synthetic, pwede mo na makuha yung final answer for the whole quotient. So ang quotient natin is 5 and negative 12. To make it an expression, check mo ngayon yung highest exponent ng dividend, power of 2. Minus 1. Power of 1 na. Tama? So yung first term ng quotient mo, power of 1. So 5x minus 12 plus ang remainder ay 25 over ang divisor ay x plus 2. This will be your quotient. Your quotient in the form quotient plus remainder over the divisor. Ito yung nasa module. So quotient plus remainder over divisor. Question po? None po. Okay. None po. Next. Proceed. Kayo naman. Find the remainder when p of x is equal to 4x cubed minus 3x plus 1 is divided by x plus 1. Write the given p of x equals 4x, uh, 4x cubed minus 3x plus 1. For our divisor, equate it by 0. x plus 1 equals to 0. What is the answer for the value of x? Negative 1. Negative 1. So if x negative 1, substitute magiging p of negative 1 equals 4 times negative 1 to the power of 3. Magiging nga, dictate nyo, minus 3 negative times negative 1 plus 1. Plus 1. Ah, next. Ito muna. 4 negative 1 to the power of 3 
Oh, negative, negative one to the three. Power. Negative one to the power of three. Three. Yes. Negative one times negative one <coughs> times negative one. Anong sagot? Negative three. Negative one. Negative one. Because negative one times negative one is positive one. Positive one times negative one. Pa negative one. Negative one. Yeah, negative one. Eh, how about this one? Positive three po. Positive three. Then and it's one. Next. Negative one equals negative negative four, ma'am. Positive four. Neg positive times negative negative. Plus. Plus. Pag sa mayon natin. That's four. four. So what is the final answer? Zero. Zero. zero so negative four zero plus four, four is ma. zero. So if your remainder is zero, then we can say that x plus one is a factor or not? Factor pa. Factor. It's a factor of four x cubed minus three x plus one. Plus one. So our remainder is zero. Any question? None po. Mami, isa pa pong example, ma'am. Isa pa po, ma'am. Gusto nyo ba itry using synthetic? Apo, ma'am. Sige po, ma'am. Itry natin by synthetic division. Power of 3. The numerical coefficient is 4. Power of 2, meron ba? Wala po. 3, ma'am. Wala. Wala tayong power of 2, eh. So, 0 na lang. Tapos, for power of 1? 3 po. 3. Negative 3. For power of 0? 1. 1. What is our divisor? Negative 1. Negative, negative 1. Ito negative yun. Negative 1. one. Okay. Next. Ayan. Apply the rule. Yung mnemonic word natin. Kasi x plus a naman yan. So we have b mama. Bring down, multiply, add, multiply, add, multiply, add. Ayan yun. So bring down 4. Multiply. Negative 1. Negative, negative 4. 4. Add. Negative 4. Negative 4. Multiply. Negative 4. Ay, positive 4, ma'am. Positive 4. Add. Add natin. Negative one, 3 plus 4. Positive 1. 1. One. 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 one times negative 1. Negative, negative one. 1. Negative 1. Add. 0. 0. The po. remainder is 0. What is the quotient kaya? Again, what is the highest power sa dividend? 3 po. 3 po. 3. For the quotient, minus 1 lang natin. So, magiging 4. X raised to ano na? 2 x raised to 2, followed by negative 4, x raised to 1. 1. Huwag natin one. sulat. Plus, x raised to 0 na plus for 1. Yan. So, let's the remainder 0. So, since 0 naman yan, huwag ka na maglagay. So, Wala therefore, na. this is the final answer for the quotient. Next, number 3. Isa pa, ma'am. Ito pa po, isa pa. Number 3. Find the remainder when p of x is equal to 6x to the 4th, minus 5x cubed, minus 15x squared, plus 4 is divided by 2x minus 1. Tingnan nyo yung divisor natin. Ang divisor natin is in the form ax plus b. Kasi using synthetic division, dalawa yung pwedeng process. Pwedeng bidima-dima, pwedeng bima-mama-mama. Pero pwede namang hindi na gumamit ng bidima kung, kung kaya nyo namang gumamit ng bima-mama using fraction naman. Kasi ito, magkakaroon yan ng ano, fraction. If we equate that by 0, anong value ng x? 2x equals... This will be positive 1. one. Dilipat mo. Then divide both sides by 2. X now is equal to 1 over 2. 1 over 2. two. So 1 over 2. My remainder theorem, P of X is equal to 6X to the 4th power minus 5X cubed minus 15X squared plus 4. Substitute the value of X is 1 half. 6X Ang x natin is 1 half. 6 times 1 half to the power of 4 minus 5 times 1 half to the power of 3 minus 15 times 1 half to the power of 2. Wag lang kayo mag, mag, uh, ano ha, maliligaw. Plus 4. Inisaysa ko lang siya. 6x, 5 tapos x, 15 tapos x ulit tapos 4. P of, uh, P of 1 half is equal to 6 times. Yung 1 half to the power of 4, pag sniffify mo, that would be 1 over 2 raised to 4 ilan? 16 po. 16. Minus 5 times 1 half raised to 3. 1 2. 8. Yun, 1 over 8. Minus 15 times 1 half to the power of 2. Ano yung 1 half to the power of 2? 1 fourth. 1 fourth. So we have 15 times 1 fourth plus 4. O, simplify na natin. Pwede na ito makancel kasi this is divisible by 2. 
Tama? Ito ay 8. Tapos ito ay 3. So, P of 1 half is equal to 3 times 1 is 3 over 1 times 8 is 8. Minus 5 times 1 is 5 over 8. Minus 5, uh, 15 times 1 is 15 over 4. Over 4. Yes, 4. O yan, simplify na natin. Itong dalawa pwede nang pagsamahin kasi parehos lang over 8. So, magiging 3 minus 5 is negative 2 over 8. Over 8. Tama. Tapos, okay. minus 15 over 4. Over 4. Plus, plus 4, 4 over 1. Kasi whole number. Diba? Uh -huh. So, ano na ngayon? LCD, 8, 4, and 1. Pwede na siya sa 8. 8 divided by 8, 1, times negative 2, negative 2. 8 divided by 4, 2. 2 oh. times negative 15, negative, negative 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. 8 divided by 1 times 4 is positive 32. 32. So, 0 over 8 is now equal to 0 pa rin. Tama? Therefore, we can say that P of 1 half is equal to zero. And the zero and the remainder is zero. Tama po? So yes, if remainder po. is zero, then we can say that 2x minus 1 is a factor of p of x. Question po? Mahirap ba? Sa so fraction lang po. Sa, kasi kailangan master niyo fraction. Uh, how about synthetic? Try natin kung pareho ba yung kalalabasan. Synthetic, get all the numerical coefficient. Tingnan natin kung tama ba yung ano. Nakadecreasing ba siya? Power of 4, power of 3, Apo. power of yes, 2. Po. May kulang Apo. tayo. Ano kulang? Power of 1. Power one. Power one. one. So 6, one. negative 5, five. Negative, 15. negative 15, and 4. Zero. Six, zero. Positive, positive 4. Positive 4. Uh, nag 0 tayo ha kasi wala tayong power of 1. Power of 4, power of 3, Power of 2, power of 1 nawawala, power of 0 meron. Tama po? Oh, ma'am. So, on the left side, ito si left, 2x, 2 on numerical coefficient of our divisor, first term. Without changing the sign, 2 po ang ilalagay natin dito, 2. Next, negative 1 here. With signs change, babaguhin natin para sa right side ng synthetic. This will be positive 1. Ayan. So, bring down 6. Divided by 2, 3. Multiply by 1, 3. Add. Bidima dima. Add. The answer is? Negative. Negative. Negative, negative two. 2. Negative 2. Divide 2. Uh, negative divide natin. Negative 1. Negative 1. Then multiply ulit. Negative. Negative 1. one. Yan. Tapos negative 15 plus negative 1 is? Positive 16. Negative. Kasi same ano eh. Same negative. sign. Nag-add tayo. So negative 16. Divide by 2. 8 ma'am. Negative 8. Negative 8. Negative 8. Negative 8. Yan. Times 1. Negative 8. Negative 8. Add natin. 8. Negative 8 pa rin. Divide. Negative 8. Negative, negative 4. 4. Negative 4. Negative add. Four. Uh, multiply rather. Neg multiply. Negative 4. Negative 4. Then add. 0. 0. So this one will be our remainder. So ang final answer natin, power of 4 ang pinakamataas. For the quotient, we have 3. X raised to 3 na kasi power 4 minus 1. Power of 4 minus 1. Minus, this is 1. X na to the power of? 2. 2. Minus 8. X to the power of? To the power of 1. 1. Kahit wala na yan, ha? Minus 4, x raised to the power of 0. Tanggilin na natin yung zero. power of 1. Kasi, carry na yan. Carry na yan. Ayan. So, wala tayong remainder. 0 remainder. Therefore, the final answer for the quotient is this one. 3x cubed minus x squared minus 8x plus minus 4. Pag ang tinatanong ay quotient, ha? Kailangan may remainder over divisor kung may remainder man. Pero ang tinatanong lang naman dito ay find the remainder. So either of the two, pwede nyo gamitin as long as you have your remainder. Zero. Talong po? Wala na po. Okay. Next.
Number four, show that x plus 3 is a factor of the given polynomial. Remainder ba? Synthetic ba? Pwede bang gamitin? Synthetic, ma'am. Maganda. Synthetic, maganda. Okay, so try natin yung maganda. Maganda naman pareho. Synthetic, power of 3, meron. Power of 2, numerical coefficient is 7. Power of 1, meron ba? Wala po. Wala. So anong gagawin natin? Wala. Zero. 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 Okay. So, negative 9. Kasi pwede mo sabihin na this will be negative 9x raised to the power of 0. Pwede yan eh. Pero since simplified, negative 9 lang. So again, for the power of 3, 2x cubed. Power of 2, 7x squared. Power of 1, 0x. Kasi wala naman. Diba? Pag nire-write mo yan, 2x cubed plus 7x squared plus 0x raised to 1 minus 9x raised to 0. X plus 3, ang divisor, change of sign? Negative X is equal to negative 3. three. So negative 3. Okay. Isang mabilis ang synthetic division. D, mama, bring down. Sunod? 2. Negative 6. Negative 6, sunod? Uh, negative 1, ma'am. Add 7 minus 6 is positive 1. Mas, mas mataas yung absolute value ng 7, di ba? 1 times 3, or 1 times negative, negative 3. 3. Negative 3, add... Negative 3. Negative 3. Multiply. Negative 9. Negative 9. nine. Positive 9. Positive 9. Then? Zero. Zero. So, zero. since zero remainder, zero remainder, then we can say that x plus 3 is a factor of 2x cubed plus 7x squared minus 3. Using remainder theorem, pwede rin. P of negative 3 is equal to 2. Is equal to 2 negative 3 to the power of 3 plus 7 times negative 3. The power of 2. The power of 2. 2. Minus, Ten, nine. minus 9. Minus 9. Quantity. Lang. Wala na. Kasi x raised to 0 Ay, yan. Eh. Wala na yan. <laughs> ah, next. So 2 times this one is what? Negative 3 to the power of 3. Negative 27, ma'am. Negative 27. Tandaan nyo ha. Pag negative number raised to odd number, negative yun. Negative number raised to even number, positive yan. Ha? Plus. Plus. Power of 2 to. So, 7 times? Seven. 9. Again? Nine. Negative 9. Negative 9. Sure. Sabi ko kanina, pag negative number raised to even number, positive. Hmm? Diba? Negative 9. Positive. 9. Minus oh. 9. Tandaan ha, negative number, ang exponent niya ay even number, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Ang sagot na sign ay positive. Pero pag negative number raised to add number, 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, ang result ng sagot niya is negative. Ha? Kasi negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9. Positive 9 times negative 3, negative 27. Nagpapalit yung sign. Di ba po? Apo, ma'am. Okay, ano na to? 2 times negative 27? Negative 54. Negative 54. Ito, 763. 63. Minus 9. Minus 9. Si 63 minus 9 ilan? 54. 54. Positive, 54. Oh, so, pareho silang number pero magkaiba ng sign. Therefore, negative 3 is equal to 0. Zero. zero remainder. So, we can say that x plus 3 is a factor again oh. of... I'm going to talaga yung pen ko. Pasensya na. 2x cubed plus 7x squared minus, squared minus, minus 9. 9. Puro na ano mo. Oo, oh, erase natin. Okay na. May question pa? Wala na po, ma'am. Wala na po, ma'am.